In the name of Allah, our Creator, the Creator of the universe and of everything that's in it, I greet you all, brothers and sisters, and sons and daughters in Islam and in humanity, in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be with you all. The word Islam is an Arabic word that stems from two roots. Salam, which means peace, and Taslim, which means submission. So Islam is the peaceful, cheerful submission to the will of the Creator. Islam was taught to Adam May Allah be pleased with him on the moment of his creation. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tells us that between Adam and Noah, may Allah be pleased with them both, there were 10 generations on pure Islam, on pure unification of the Creator, all glory be to him, without parallels, partners, or similars. Then the devil came to a group of people from the tribe of Nuh, may Allah be pleased with him, and tempted them by saying, many pious people have passed away. If you put their clothes on pieces of stick and sit them on chairs in front of their homes, people can see them and imitate them. They started doing that, and from that moment on, associating others with Allah, shirk, came into being. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tells us that Allah, out of his mercy, has sent 124,000 prophets to every corner of that globe to guide people to the path of Allah, Al-Islam. And there had to be a final stop for that process of divine guidance to man. And the final stop was the coming of Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Being the last message and the final integration of the divine guidance to man, Allah has taken the responsibility to preserve that message in its entirety, word to word and letter to letter, in exactly the same language of revelation the Arabic language. Nowadays, the glorious Quran is the only form of divine guidance to man that has been kept intact in exactly the same language of revelation, the Arabic language, preserved by the will of Allah, word to word and letter to letter. All the previous forms of divine guidance have been completely lost. And whatever left from memories about these previous messages have been committed to languages other than the languages of revelation, have been infiltrated by human ideas, have been highly distorted. And that's why the world is suffering the lack of peace, because man cannot live peacefully and happily on the surface of that planet without divine guidance. And at the same time, Divine guidance cannot be tailored by man. Man cannot live peacefully on the surface of that planet without religion. And the religion has to be absolutely divinely revealed without the slightest human infiltration. If we accept this argument, we can see clearly that there is a clear-cut criterion by which we can discriminate between a true religion and a false one. And this criterion is the authenticity of the revelation that was sent down with the religion. If the revelation is intact, has not been infiltrated by human ideas, has not been transmitted to a language other than the language of revelation, has not been tampered by man, the religion is correct. If the revelation has been lost, has been committed to a language other than the language of revelation, has been tampered by man. The religion can never be correct, even if it still contains some remnants of the initial truth. If we apply this criterion to all the isms of the time, 
we can see clearly that the only divine guidance to man that has been kept intact for more than 14 centuries in exactly the same language of revelation, the Arabic language presented by the will of Allah, word to word and letter to letter. And if man would like to return peace to the surface of that globe, to understand his message or her message fully as a vice gerent on earth, they have men and women of our time have to read the glorious Quran, have to read the sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, have to review the life history, the autobiography of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and try to find their ways to establish peace and happiness on the surface of that planet. May Allah help us all to achieve that goal. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.